decisions Motherfuck my peers, I'm the man of the year Welcome back everyone to episode 20 of Making Money and towards the end of episode 19 I said I was going to go back throughout my episodes to see what drops I got at next and calculate my drop rate for next. So I have a notepad of all the drops that I got. Now I have the drop list in the top left corner for you guys. But for episode 17, Virtus Wand, two Zerite Bow drops and one of those Weavy got and then a Virtus Rib Bottom. Episode 18, Pernix Cowl, and two Pernix Chaps. And then episode 19, two Torpor Plate Legs, and then also a pair of Pernix Chaps. So that equals out to 10 drops, and I need to check how much kills I have for next right now. And let's see. 157, so we do 157 divided by 10 drops. So my drop rate right now is 15.7. So technically, you know, 16 kills, I will get a road drop. So that's what I've been sticking with next. I thought it would be kind of cool to just calculate that real quick. But for this episode, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. I only have 9.2 mil right now because I just gave 90 mil to my skiller. And I want to try and mix up bosses in this episode because I've been doing a lot of next. I guess we'll have to wait and see what I actually do because I have no idea right now. I have to sell my loot tab from Abyssal Demons right now because I only have 2 mil in my coin pouch. Can't really do anything with that money nowadays. Do a quick track right here and it's 14.8 mil. Not including the Abyssal Whips because I'm saving those until I get 120 to see how many I get. So nice amount of loot, I suppose, 2.1 mil with the rune chain bodies, and I'll be up to like 16 or 17 mil after I sell all my items. Finished up a duo trip at next with Pip Zo, if that's how I pronounce your name, if I said it wrong, I apologize. But we did get one drop, and the very first kill that we did at next was the drop, which was a Pernix Cowl. I mean, at least we got one item. But uh, I'm going to get the items from Pip and sell them in the GE. And then I'll also show you guys that I did give him the split. It'd be kind of sad if I <laughs> scammed him from like 6 mil or something. So from the total price check, it was 13.6 mil, I think. There's the split almost 7 mil from the hour trip at next. Finally, holy crap. I think it's about 4 trips so far that I was dry in. So about 4 hours. At least I got a drop. It's like one of the least expensive drops, but at least it's, you know, 6.6 .6 mil. Just a quick price check from it, just because I did get the uh, Pernix Cowl, 8.7 mil. I guess it's okay, but I did get like two or three, I think, brew drops from that trip, which is always terrible. Got another dry streak, and it finally ended. Pernix Chaps. This is like my fifth Pernix Chaps. Most common drop I get next is the Chaps, and a 26.3 mil, probably. The most expensive item that next can drop. Awesome. Very happy with that. It's getting pretty annoying just because the dry streaks, you guys don't see them because I just show you guys the drops. But it's been like three hours again without a drop. And, you know, finally getting one is always nice. Two kills later, the luck is fucking back. Finally, 16.5 mil with the boots. Very first time getting Torva boots. And this is also the last kill of the trip. So I'll do a quick press check. And I made absolute bank this hour. Let's see what they are totaled without the other drops. 42.9 mil, very close to 43. And then in total, 54.7 mil. This was from two trips, actually. I forgot to mention that. But I got two Onyx drops the last trip. And overall, very nice. That's going to help a lot because I only have 6.6 .6 mil in my coin pouch now since I've been buying Rock Tails, buying all of the instances. For next which is 800k but feels nice to get a little bit of the cash back and let's see how much the pernix is 27.7 mil why is it so high above mid that's crazy absolute bank has been made 200k with a frame drop let's go hell yeah 25.5 mil vertus rope legs very first time getting that drop i believe i've never gotten such a weird drop at next before 131 Rune arrowheads with just one diamond on top of a brew drop. That's really strange. With that two second clip or something with me at Queen Black Dragon, I did stay for an hour, but I did do 30 minute trips and at least I did a little bit of other bossing. I'm still mainly doing next because that's where I get all my luck from and I usually get a good drop there. So just a quick price check for you guys from uh, one hour and it's 3.3 .3 mil. I mean, it's decent still. It's 
still very consistent, I guess. It's just pathetic seeing how cheap the uh, the frames are nowadays, but it's I guess it's a pretty good money maker if you're like a low level and you need some cash. But also, I want to show you guys the loot tab. And here's the whole tab. I can now finally sell my Abyssal Whips since I do have 120 Invention, which I guess is a little bit of a spoiler for my Progress to Max videos, but that's whatever, I guess. And uh, 22 Whips from, I think, 110 Invention to 120. Uh, pretty bad, I'll be honest, but kind of like whatever since they're like 70k now, which is so bad. And... um a little bit of next stuff I did next yesterday didn't sell it because I just wanted to record this clip all together and show you all the items this is now 25 mil still I think it dropped 200 K which isn't a big deal I'm just gonna get everything out in my inventory and then do a quick price check this is completely random but this is sick logic and then if you examine him man of the year if you guys don't know logic awesome artist and that's a very good song as well that's pretty fucking sick but anyways, I decided to just do a price check of mostly all the drops that I got from Abyssal Demons. I might have missed a, f a couple things. I tried my best to guess how much Renite Ore I got since I got a couple drops at next and stuff. But from Abyssal Demons, nearly 15 mil, 1.5 mil alone with the whips. Uh, it's so sad. So sad. But uh, 2.6 mil with the Dragon Stones. 4.1 mil with Renite Ore. That's uh, very good. And other things are, I guess, average, like usual. So I'll just get the other items out real quick, which was from Nex. I feel like I'm missing something, but I guess it's whatever. Do the uh, price check and uh, 40 mil. Take out the uh, Virtus stuff real quick. And alone, almost 15 mil as well, just like the Abyssal Demon stuff. I got very lucky with the Onyx Bolts. I got, let's see, I think when I was doing the last trip where I got my Virtus Robe Legs, I think I got maybe one drop, and then the trip before that I got like back-to-back -back onyx drops, so I got very lucky with those. And um, so 40 mil, 15 mil, and 3.3 mil with the price checks. Just gonna sell that real quick, and more than likely just continue this episode and see if I can get anything else at next, and then eventually end up. Nearly everything has sold, and just gonna get out the couple items here. These sold for 25.5 mil, a little bit over the mid price by a couple hundred K. And from the loot tab, it was 59.7 mil. And then let's just add the 49 mil, I think. Yeah, 49 mil onto the coin pouch and 109 mil, which is nice. Back up to 100 mil. And the thing that I really want to buy is the Noxious Staff because I want to do sell off soon. And that is 143 mil. So gonna take a little bit of time still but if i get very lucky at next i can be very close to it possibly today I, I don't know if i get like two drops i'll definitely have the staff if both drops are about 40 mil or 20 mil each but uh it's gonna take a little bit that's still the plan for this episode don't want to cut it short so this video might be a lengthy one don't know if you guys really care about that but i do have the uh, Tectonic still. I bought it like three years ago. I don't know why I actually bought it three years ago and I <laughs> hardly used it. I, I remember using it as Amarok three years ago, but yeah, stupid mistake on my part. But uh, you can see it's only at 82%. Helmet's at 61. What the hell was I using the helmet for? <laughs> Who knows? I don't know. And then the uh, row bottoms are also 82%. But I can just augment them, so I don't lose charges on those. And I think the helmet's fairly cheap. I'll just check this stuff real quick. Even, guys, even though you guys probably don't care, I'll just end it in a second right here. So 11 mil, holy shit. Just going to show you guys a small price check. I'm about two hours dry at next once again. And by the way, you might hear some fans in the background. It's hot as fuck right now, so that's why you're going to hear them. And this price check is almost 13 mil, so I'll be up to... 110 mil, still need about 30 mil. I'm gonna go with the next right now. I hope I can at least get a drop and buy the Noxious Staff. I did some clue scrolls. I didn't do a live commentary over them. I think I did four clue scrolls that were elite and you'll see them on the screen. So all four of them were pretty decent actually. The lowest one was like 430K or something like that. The other ones were around 700K plus. The last two were like 850K. So not too bad from those four clues. I'm really close to buying a Noxious Staff, so I'm selling some of my Bruise and Restores that I got from Next so far. And by the way, 
not going to Nux right now. I could do that, but I'm currently 10 hours dry, so <laughs> fuck that right now. I still have a little bit of the brews and restores left, so I can make them into flasks. So it's not like a big deal. I'll just get like five drops of them like I did last hour. Um, you can see the loot that I got about two hours ago. Five brew drops and restores and terrible stuff. I didn't even, I lost money from that hour trip, which is terrible. But um, this is 7.7 .7 mil, and I have 134 mil in my inventory, or in my coin pouch, rather. I always say my inventory. But let's sell this real quick. I really want to buy the Noxious Staff right now. So we are up to 142.5 mil, and the staff right now I checked like two minutes ago is 143 mil. And I really, really hope I can buy this at a little bit below mid. That is 14 mil, Dylan. So let's go on four. Is that it? There we go. Okay. Try to buy it and try it again real quick. Have enough money, I think. Go. No way, dude. Why? Why is this happening right now? Please, someone just sell at mid. I'm going to wait a little bit and see if it does sell at this price. Yes. It bought. I was going to sell some of my potions and put it up a little bit, but it sold at mid. Let me take a screenshot. That's going to be the thumbnail probably for this episode. But I got the item that I wanted in this video. It took me way, way too long to get it. Like I said, I'm about 10 hours dry right now at next. I'll even show you my kill count. I think at the beginning of this episode, I showed you guys the drops I got so far from the last two or three Making Money episodes from next, And I was at like 157 if I'm... Guessing that right is around that kill count, and then right now I am 315 kill count and hardly got like a lot of drops from Nex. So it's been very bad luck for me so far, Nex. And I'm happy that I got this so I can go to Telos hopefully in the next episode. I'm gonna have to make more money again, obviously. Might go to Nex a little bit, might do a little bit of bossing, but I'm not really sure about that. Uh, maybe Queen Black Dragon or anything like that. Just to make like five or six mil for additional supplies, but let's wield this and check it out. There we have it. That is my second noxious. Don't really need the bow because I have the ascensions. But I'm gonna wrap it up here. It's been a very long time since my previous making money episode. But make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Finally got the damn stuff out of the way. You can subscribe for more Runescape 3 content, and you can also follow my Twitter. Link is always down below, and I will catch you guys in the next video, which should be up in two or three days from this one. See ya.